Hey, welcome to part two of how to set up your Radio Master TX12 Mark II ELRS version. And in today's video, we'll be going through how to set up a model from scratch and how to make your radio talk when you flip a switch. Let's go. All right, next, let's go to our model tab and we're going to set up a new model. In general, you shouldn't have to worry about it because the manufacturer default model should be good enough for you to uh, power anything you like. But in case you wanted to set up and wanted to know how to do it, you let just set up one completely. So let's go to empty one and let's just gonna select create model. And you can see that right now the little star is here. So when you are selecting the page, you have two pages. And when you're selecting the pages, it's already in this one. Okay, so let's go to the second page and let's set up a model name. So we're going to say this is called X-Wing. All right, once you're done, you're going to hit return for it to go back to the prior. So timer is for you to set up like if you want the radio to remind you when your drone is like about three minutes flight time is gonna say, hey, like it's three minutes, you have to land or whatsoever. I'm just not gonna use it because I'm generally, I just look at the batteries. Okay, so at this part, the another important thing is our module. This internal RF and external RF. So. If you, we are going to use our internal module, which is the internal express LS, you're going to come here and select on. And if you have an external module, you have to select on for this one. And it, you can only choose one. You cannot have both on. If you have both on, it's not going to work. Since we only have an internal module, we're just going to come here and select on, which is going to the defaultly jump to crossfire. So express LRS is using crossfire Lua script. Don't worry, it's still Express LRS. All right, let's go to the next page. So these are the stuff I generally don't touch. And same here. Okay, so this is the important part. You can see that the, uh, this is already set up. So basically these, the A is this one, E is this one, I believe T is this one, and rudder is this one, I believe. Okay, so we're going to set up our switch, otherwise nothing is going to work. So you're just going to come here, uh, select one of the empty mod models, and we're going to set up our set up this one as an arm switch. So we're going to say this input is called A as arm, and you're going to hit return, and the source as about the source. We're going to use the E switch, which is the SE switch, and you're just going to flip it for it to find it. All right, so once it, once it is here, it should be fine. Let's just flip it to the top. Okay. Let's go down to the bottom, and this one we're just going to set it up as a mode switch. So we're going to say MS mode. So mode is basically your angle, horizon, and ear mode. Okay, let's press return, go back. And source, we're going to use the B switch, which is SB. This is going to flip it. Okay. And we are done. All right, so let's go to the next tab, which is mix. This is when we actually record the actual movement of the switch. So the mix name, the first one, it's going to be, still going to be A as arm. And you're going to scroll down here and go to the switch. And you're going to flip onto the top, which this is the one I want. And we, okay, so now when we flip this SE switch, you should see that this little color changes to like a little bit deeper color, so which means it's active. Okay, let's go to number six. And this is going to be our, actually we don't have to set up, it's already there. Let me see. So you can see that the source is coming from the previous page. So this is, maybe this is why we have to set up. 
Okay, same draw. Go and edit. We are just going to scroll down to switch. Okay, so we're going to use B, the bottom, as our angle mode. So we're just going to put it at the bottom. And you're going to press return. Okay, so here is the interesting part because each tap is only going to record, you're going to only record one movement. So if I flip this, you can see that at the bottom, it turns uh, deep, right? It turns like to the deeper color. But if I flip it to the middle, it has no color. And I flip it to the top, it, there's no color. So you have to create additional uh, one for it to record the second movement. All right, so we're just going to do long press this one. And you're going to insert after. And at this point, you are, we are just going to go back to switch. And oops, go back to the switch. And you're going to flip the B switch to the top. So it's going to record both movements. And press OK and go return and return. And now you can see that on channel six now has two inputs. So if I flip it like this, it goes to see. So now you have a you have one in the middle and you'll have one at the top. All right, so this is basically done. Let's go to the next tab. So there's nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing I touch, nothing I touch, nothing I touch. Okay, so this is generally how you set up a model. And let's go to Betaflight and see if it works. Okay, so now we're at our computer and we're just going to connect the radio to this uh, Mobula 7 to see if the connection and our switch are is working. Let's give it a try. Let's plug in the drone. Okay, so let's connect to Betaflight. And let's go to the receiver tab right here. You can see that Okay, so the throttle, everything is working as usual on the new model. And let's go to modes to make sure that the switches are working. So if I flip the arm switch, you can see that this is actually working too. You see the yellow dot, right? And for the our mode switch, it's also going to work as well. You can see that we have basically three functions. We just have to set up the horizon and this and that mode for this drone to work, right? So this is a successful mode setup. Next, let me teach you how to make your radio talk. All right, to the bonus session, how to make your radio talk. We just have to go to models and you're going to go to special functions. All right, and this is the place that we are going to select our switch. So if I flip my uh, arm switch to the top and you're going to press OK, and we are going to select play track and we can select this is going to be arm armed okay so when i flip it right now armed. aha he's going to say armed and let's go to let's hit the return button and go to the next one and let's flip the switch to the bottom Oh, just never focus. And same, we're going to just select play track. And this time you're going to select this arm. This arm. Let's try it out. Wait. Oh, I selected the wrong one. Let's go back here. You see, I select SD, which should be. It should be S, it should be this Disarmed. one. It should be this one instead. Okay, let's try it again. Disarmed. All right, now it's correct. We're gonna hit return. And well, let's go to the next one. Let's set up our modes, which currently we only have two modes, which is going to be the angle mode and the air mode. Let's just select to the bottom. And you're going to just select play track again. This time, we're going to come in here and select angle mode and press return. Angle mode. Okay. And let's go to the next tab. Same drill. Press the bottom to the top, which is going to be our air mode. Whoops. Okay. Same. Select play track. 
and we are going to select acro mode. Plus return. Anchor mode. Acro mode. Okay, so this is how you set up and make your radio talk. Simple, right? Okay, so today we went over how to set up our TX12 radio, and I hope this uh, is clear enough. And if you have any additional questions, please feel free to email me or just leave a message at the comment section. I will do my best to respond. And if you like my content, please help me subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.